Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Crawford Jones. ISS Expedition 40 came to a close this week as three crew members said farewell to their home in space. After handing over the reins as station commander to cosmonaut Max Sarayev on Tuesday, NASA astronaut Steve Swanson alongside cosmonauts Alexander Skortsov and Oleg Artemyev boarded their Soyuz spacecraft on Wednesday for their three and a half hour trip back to Earth. The Soyuz touched down on the steppe of Kazakhstan at 10.23 p.m. Eastern Time and the crew was quickly extracted from the capsule by recovery forces. Just hours later, Swanson boarded a plane for his return to Houston and his two Russian crewmates returned to their training base in Star City, Russia. The trio spent 169 days on board the ISS and traveled over 72 million miles. The departure of Swanson, Skortsov, and Artemyev officially kicked off ISS Expedition 41 with new commander Max Sarayev and flight engineers Reed Wiseman and Alexander Gersh remaining on board. They will have the orbital outposts all to themselves for about two weeks before being joined by their Expedition 41 crewmates, NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore and cosmonauts Yelena Sarova and Alexander Somakudiaev. That crew will head to Baikonur, Kazakhstan on Friday in preparation for their launch on September 25th. This week's Twitter question comes from Mariana. She asks, how many people can fit in the Soyuz in case of an emergency? Well, Mariana, a Soyuz capsule can safely hold three space travelers, and there's always a seat available for each ISS crew member. So, no matter what, there's always a way to get the crew back home safely. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.